Hi there, everyone. It's Christoph Chu from Coldwell Banker Previews in Beverly Hills, and I'm continuing today to do one of my driving tours. I have not done one of these in a while, but interestingly enough, uh, many of you know I do quite a bit of videos talking about L.A. and the marketplace and what's going on, but the most popular videos I have are actually my driving tour videos. So I keep getting requests for them, so I happen to have a few minutes in the car, so I thought I would do one. Um, I'm currently in the Beverly Hills Post Office area of Los Angeles, but the address is Beverly Hills, California, 90210, and I'm currently on Coldwater Canyon Boulevard, which Coldwater Canyon runs from basically the Beverly Hills Hotel, where it uh, is Beverly Drive and it becomes Coldwater, and it runs all the way past Mulholland Drive, which is where we are right here, straight through into the San Fernando Valley and into the Studio City area. So, for example, once you cross... Um, this line right here, you're now entering into Studio City. And that was the Tree People area where it's a tree reserve of wonderful trees. And actually, I just recently sold uh, two properties right there behind that, over um, almost eight acres total uh, to a celebrity client. And I called it the Celebrity, um, what I call it? PrivateCelebrityCompound.com was the website for that one. So, anyways, I've just turned off of Coldwater and I'm now on Mulholland Drive. Mulholland Drive is an interesting street. It straddles um, the entire Santa Monica Mountains from the Hollywood Hills over through past Bel Air. Uh, it actually goes to Topanga Canyon, if I'm not mistaken. I don't go that far west, this way at least, but it goes through Topanga Canyon, from what I can remember. So off here to the right is the San Fernando Valley, and over on our left side is Beverly Hills Post Office. Now, there are a few gated communities here off of Mulholland. Uh, one being the summit, which is just past us when we turned. It's the other side on Mulholland, and that's a Beverly Hills address. It's called the summit. Gated homes starting from about, um, <coughs> excuse me, 2.3 million. We've had lots of winds the last couple days to about, uh, I think, 12, 15 million. And we're going to be coming soon on to another one called Mulholland Estates, which is a gated community which starts at about 4.5 million up to about 20 million. And soon we're going to be passing the north side entrance of Beverly Park, which is the most exclusive gated community here in Beverly Hills, with homes ranging from about 15 million up to about 100 million. Um, I think the highest recent sale was in the 50 million range. So um, I don't know if you can see it right now, but on that side, you get a little peekaboo. There are views of the San Fernando Valley. And then oh, over here is the entrance to the Beverly Park Gate, on the north side. There's two entrances. There's one from, um, is it Summit Drive? I forget, yeah, I think Summit Drive. And then the other one is here from Mulholland Drive. Um, that's to enter the north Beverly Park zone, because there's also a south Beverly Park zone. So again, this is kind of a little flavor of the Beverly Hills Post Office area. Oh, we got a slow moving truck in front of us, so this may take a little longer than I anticipated. Um, I'm out today on Tuesday, and actually Tuesday is what we call caravan day. And what that basically means is that all the brokers, when they have new listings or price reductions or just want to re-expose their listings, we have our houses open on houses, condos, income properties that are available to be open, open on Tuesday from 11 to 2, where all the brokers, actually not all the brokers, I'll talk about that shortly, get out and pre preview these listings um, so that when they have a client or if they have a current client, they will have previewed the home so they can be able to uh, share with their clients you know, what they think would work for them. Um, I find it, first of all, to be one of the most fun things I do in real estate, um, first of all, because I get to see all the most beautiful homes. And generally speaking, the most expensive ones are private or by appointment. So unless you're invited, um, this is like the 40, 50 million plus homes you can't get in. So, um, but luckily I saw a lot of very exclusive properties, so I'm uh, on those guest lists. So anyways, it's a great opportunity to see the homes, really, really know your market. You know, agents always ask me, what does it take to be successful? Well, one of the things it takes is to spend literally three hours every Tuesday looking at as many properties and homes you can. You never know when that listing might expire and you might get the listing afterwards and you've seen it, or you never know you're looking at a house today that's 10 or 12 million, you don't have a customer, but tomorrow you get a phone call and they're looking for XYZ and you just saw that house the day before. And I'm truly amazed at how few brokers do this. Um, there's a lot of new agents in all the offices and in my office as well, but I'm constant, constantly stunned when I get back to the office at in like 2.30 or 3 on a Tuesday after looking at, you know, 30, 40 homes sometimes. I get back and I'll see agents sitting in the office, new agents, and I'll say, didn't you go on caravan? And they're like, 
no, I didn't go on caravan. And I'm like, what are you doing? You know, it just makes no sense to me whatsoever. I mean, you need to know your market and your inventory, um, you know, in order to sell. So anyways, Mulholland Drive is, um, you know, kind of a funky area. It's got some older and expensive homes. It's got some very expensive newer homes. It's kind of a mixed bag of tricks, as I would call it. Um, and Mulholland has prices ranging from about a million five to, I think about 10 million is about the highest that I can recall um, here on Mulholland. So we're approaching soon. I just came up Coldwater Canyon, which is on the eastern side of Beverly Hills Post Office. And I'm going to be coming down uh, Bever sorry, Benedict Canyon, which is on the western side of Beverly Hills Post Office. And that street also runs from Beverly Hills all the way into the San Fernando Valley in the Sherman Oaks kind of Van Nuys area. And then the next big street is Beverly Glen, which comes through Bel Air, Homby Hills, up again straight through into the San Fernando Valley into the Encino area. So these are main thoroughfare streets because unless you take the 405 freeway from the city side to get to the valley or the Hollywood freeway, which they're pretty far away, um, most people commute back and forth uh, on one of these three main streets to get to and from the valley. And quite often um, people, particularly just you know, regular working folk have to live in the valley because prices are more reasonable and then they commute into the city every day to work. Um, whereas, you know, the city side here tend to have more expensive properties. So I've just turned off of Mulholland and I'm now on Benedict Canyon. I'm going to look at a property that's a new listing. And uh, Benedict Canyon is a very nice street. Um, there's some very, very pricey, pricey homes here. Um, we have some friends that have 16, 17, 18 acre properties here on Benedict. They have horse stables, horse riding rinks. Um, so actually, several friends have horse stables on their property, which is pretty rare. Um, pretty cool to be in Beverly Hills and literally five minutes from the Beverly Hills Hotel or the restaurants or Rodeo Drive and have horses on your property. I mean, that's only a handful of those houses and properties do exist here in LA and they're quite pricey. So I don't know if you can see on the camera, but we're in the hills. We can kind of get a peekaboo view through there of the ocean. And actually, I can see Catalina Island right now, which is kind of cool. We had uh, lots of winds yesterday and today, so it's kind of cleared up um, the morning haze that we often get here in the mornings, which is that kind of marine layer that we get here on the west side. So not too much to see. I know you can't see a lot of houses because a lot of these here, especially up here, are gated. And actually to our left here is another small gated community called Wallingford Estates. Um, prices are about two and a half million to uh, houses in there now for 33 or 34 million. It's a very small gated community. I think it's about 24 homes right around that curb. That's the gate. And um, primarily built kind of in the late 70s and early 80s. And there's one really very large estate in there that's uh, kind of a French chateau style that's on the market for, again, I forget, but I think 32 or 38 million. Um, but you can see this is Benedict Canyon. And it's a pretty long street to get from Holland down to Sunset Boulevard takes about 10 to 12 minutes without traffic and if it's you know rush hour traffic either way it could take you half an hour if there's ever trees fall in or a storm it could be blocked completely um, and that's one of the things that you know having been born and raised in Los Angeles and doing this now for 24 years I really have a lot of conversations with my buyers about how they want to live the kind of lifestyle they want to enjoy and you know it's not for everyone to want to drive 10 12 15 minutes um, from their house to get to the city or the market or the restaurants. I know me personally, um, you know, the, the plus is you get a great view up here if you like that. But for me personally, I love being literally, you know, three, four minutes from my office and then literally three, four minutes from all the top restaurants. Um, it's just my personal choice. So, um, but you know, everyone's different and that's why you hire a great real estate agent who knows their area so they can advise you on the best ways and the best areas for your personal lifestyle. So anyways, just some thoughts. So this is kind of one of the pricier parts of Benedict Canyon where we have the kind of large estates uh, that are an acre, two acres and 16, 17 acres in some cases. Um, a couple of gated streets here. They're not really gated communities per se with security guards and all that, but gated streets nonetheless. So it's very rustic-y, lots of beautiful trees, very green and verdant and lush in this area as you can see. And uh, I'll be arriving shortly at this property. Oh, maybe I've passed it. Talking too much. So anyways, I'm going to end the tour now, guys. Thank you for listening. And um, so that's my little tour of uh, Mulholland Drive and parts of Benedict Canyon today. See you soon.